Hi, I'm Danielle with Stitching Designs. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about my weekend at So Magical. I went to the one at Dallas, or in Texas. It was my very first time ever going to a So Magical event. I didn't know anybody. I only have ever talked to people online. So if you've mm -hmm. never gone... Really? <laughs> my dog, Jax. He's got his head on my lap. He's like, love me. Mm -hmm. Um, can I can I make a video and then afterwards I can give you pets? No, he'll just keep coming back. <laughs> you can see his face in the top of the corner. <laughs> there you go. So sorry. <laughs> anyway, if you've never gone and you're nervous about going because you don't know anybody, just go. That's all I can say is just go because you will end up meeting people meeting people from being in the classes. The classes is an easy way to meet people or just mingle. And even in the vendor hall, you bump into people, not literally bump into people, but you come across people that you just end up talking to and chatting it up, or they have all bunch of different like gatherings or events. They have the very beginning, the first night, they have like a no host mingling. Then they have like sticker exchanges and there's always something going on and it's an easy way to meet people or so you will end up coming out with more friends than you went in with and it's a it's just a fun experience going and it's there it was texas was it was their very first time in texas like of course being their first one there's going to be little hiccups here and there but overall like it was fun it was definitely enjoyable like it's it's only going to get better because like you you run through it the first time and Kayla has an amazing team behind her and like Alex fabulous very incredibly helpful and just super kind and then Lauren's part of the team too like and then Brittany and then even just the volunteers that came in to help awesome people very like I never really had an issue like any other problem like I needed scissors for one of the classes I was helping and because we didn't want to cut paper with the fabric scissors because, like, all the memes. So they were able to get us some fab from non-fabric scissors to actually use for people in that class, which was, and they got it really quick, which was awesome. But good, ex good overall experience. Things will improve. Things will run smoother, and it's just because it's just the first time. It's it's only going to get better, which is even which is exciting, and so it's only going to get better, bigger. And I look forward to like the future things that they're going to be able to have at those events. And anyway, so we'll just get started with what came in the VIP bags. So this big tote was the VIP bag. This thing is like a beach bag, a pool bag, a if you want to go grocery shopping. <laughs> you can fit a small child in this bag. It is, it's big. And then it's got a little zipper pocket thing in the back here. And it's cute. It says VIP and the I is the boot and it has on the side Texas 2023. And so this logo right here is the same logo that came on the t-shirts. So a pretty maroon color. So this was the V-neck. I believe they had some crew necks. And then they did have kid sizes. When you picked up your ID badge, so when you pre, if you registered ahead of time, then your little your little tag thing had your name on it. And so this was your lanyard. So it's really cute. It says So Magical Expo. It's got the boots and the flowers and very Texas. So it's really cute. I was a total flacker and either had it in my pocket or on my backpack. I like I never wore it actually around my neck. Because yeah. Cause I'm a rebel. <laughs> I'm a goofball. So in the bag, so you had your shirt in the bag. Well, the shirt and the tumbler were not in the bag. You needed to go up to the swag booth upstairs to get those. So hopefully everybody remembered to grab their shirt and their tumbler from the VIPs for the bags. But in the bag, so I'll show you the VIP, the tumbler. So this is the tumbler. And then it was sponsored by, is it, yeah, your, I keep wanting to say my vinyl. So your vinyl source. So that was the back side of the tumbler. In the kits. I have stuff kind of scattered around. What's the? Yeah, so I'll just grab this. So it had some vinyl samples from Glitterbug Fairy. So these aren't like super huge swatches of stuff, but there are so many little projects you could use with these. 
this longer one is 10 inches long and it's just at the cusp of you could do it as like one of the key fobs with their like little alligator mouth I guess that's what that is but you could make this into a little key fob you can do embroidery and do it as an applique key fob or so there's lots of little like embroidery people like there's a lot you could do with this and then if you're not embroidery like you could do like little applique pieces with like sew this onto something you could use this as little handles or accent pieces like it could be utilized for different stuff so that's glitterbug fairy and they also had some jelly so I'll get I'll get to that when I get to the stuff that I bought <laughs> there was for the cork So if you were there, you get the expo disc. There's an expo discount on it and stuff like that. So, oops, probably shouldn't have shown it. So, but here you can you can scan the QR code and hopefully that shows up and you can it'll take me to their website and show off all of their really pretty cork. This was one booth like I walked by it. I just because I was walking through real quick and I never got the chance to go back and actually really look in depth at the cork that they had. But from what I saw, it looked really pretty. And I was excited, and it just like so. I I want to check it out. I'll go. I've never really sewn with cork, so I'm. I'd, I'd be curious to see how it, how it works. And then from More Me Know from Lauren, this was the zipper tape in there. Really pretty, like it's like in the video, it looks super bright pink. It's not. It's like a deep blush pink color. It's it's really pretty. It's a very pretty color. Got some more teal glitter cups because I think I have broken all of mine from the summer project box because I'm I'm good that way <laughs> and then had these super cute kitty witch zipper poles so like perfect for Halloween time and I'm totally gonna have to make an applique that goes with that <laughs> so super cute set those aside there was from Zarell I wish, because I went to their booth, and I wish I would have remembered to bring this. So if you're ever, if you go to Tennessee, if you go to uh, Florida, read the cards that are in there. Because some of them have coupon codes that are only good for at the expo. And then some of them have some that you can use afterwards. So this one has one of each. So if I would have remembered when I went to their booth and got some zipper pulls and I showed them this card, I could have saved 10%. But... It was in my bag and I of course yeah so read 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 these read these and if there's coupon things keep them with you because <laughs> yeah I didn't want to carry that around I had other stuff to carry around but there's also a free shipping so after after the fact so I can get free shipping so there is one of those and then so this is their also this is their their card their QR code they have Facebook Instagram and is that Twitter no not Twitter um whatever the bottom one is tiktok there we go oh my god of course i can't remember i don't have tiktok so so but in there's we have a sticker social club but like it's so like social club so i got one of those it came with a sparkly zarell key fob it was also Melanie, I believe the owner. It was her birthday actually at the event and it was really fun. I happened to go into, after I left the sticker swap, went over to the sew down that was held by Salty Sews. Hey, it's okay if they come over. My big dog's being grumpy because one of the other kids is coming up to me. It's okay. He's a grumpy old guy. But at the sew down, they, we said, they said happy birthday to her and I think it's Lily. Lily dressed up as the Hulk. Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> that was legit. That looks so good. Those two were so funny. And then they had to do like a dance off. So cute. They were just like, those two look like they have a lot of fun at work together. Awesome. Like, I didn't, like, besides going into the booth and talking to them there, I didn't get to spend much time interacting with them as much. But just watching them at the sew down, they look like they have a lot of fun and they're like goofy. Yeah, so cool, pe cool peeps. And so this was one of the other zipper poles. So there's that one. Then a cool pumpkin one. 
for the face. So good Halloween time or just like even like a spooky horror-ish one. And then it came with a Wanda one. So I'm like, I'm excited. I'm definitely going to have to figure out something to do that. Maybe make an applique design or maybe a light up. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what I do. So put all that so I don't lose it. And then from New Moxie, purple. Love the color. Love the color. I watched Shinova's video, her captain's log yesterday, and she talked about these. And I can't remember because I was listening and driving. She explained what these are. I have no idea what these are. So if anybody knows what these are, somebody can please explain this to me. But I'm probably sure it's something really cool and very useful because why, why else would it be in there if it wasn't something cool and useful? So I will figure out how to use this and I will probably be like, like, that's perfect. So I will eventually figure out what the heck these are. <laughs> but I love the color though. And oh yeah, we talked about the cork. And so this is from my little shindig. This is Katie. She was in my light up bag class with her friend Chrissy. Those two super, super sweet. I'm going to show you. So my birthday was on the 14th, so right before we left, we came to So Magical, and I spent the day with food poisoning, so yay! So nothing got done on Tuesday and Wednesday before going, and so like, I'm amazed that I made it, because otherwise I'm like, I feel like poo. But they're from or Portland, Oregon area, and so they gave, gave me a really cute card, and a ducky, and it's perfect, because it's Portland for them. And then the ducky for so magical, I thought that was just super, like nothing fancy, but it was just, it was thoughtful. It was a thought that they actually even thought of me to even do this, which was really sweet. And then they added caramels. Like, I love caramels. Like, I try not to eat a ton of sweets, but like, this is totally going to hit the sweet spot, like when I'm craving it. Oops, don't want to drop my sticker. And then, plus, then I saw Katie and Chrissy again at the sticker swap, and I just didn't connect the dots that my little shindig and Kate were the same. So I found out after the fact when I got home yesterday. And then she explained what this is to me. So I actually knew what the heck this was. So this little baggie has a whole bunch of little fabric scraps in it. And on the back, so it says spring 2023 Wingo. Or Wango? Wingo. Wango? Depending on how you want to pronounce it. But it's just wine bingo. <laughs> like who's not going to love that? So it's a fabulously fun community event and this is your kit to join us. Scan the QR code or visit mylittleshindig.com slash pages slash wingo wango opt in. So this is the little QR code if you want to get some more information on it or get a little scrap pack how how that works. I'm not sure how, like if you can make your own scrap pack or you have to get a scrap pack from them to do it. I'm not sure how that works. But you sew these pieces together and you make like a little bingo board. And then they you have they have a video and you get to have like have your wine and play some bing like like sewing bingo, so that's gonna be fun. And then you just get to like you can have comment like comment and just interact with people and you never know who you're gonna you can meet through that and so it's just gonna be a fun little cute little event. So I'll definitely have to sew this together and watch their group. So if you're not in their group, make sure to join the My Little Shindig. So this is their name. So make sure to join their group so you can participate in the the wine go. Wingo, wango, tomato, tomato, right? <laughs> so you can join in this. Or if not, just check out all the cool stuff that they have. And then also in there was this cute little ducky shape from Off the Wall Quilts. So there's a hole in it, so you could use it as like a cute little keychain. If you wanted to use it, like you could, pr it's a be small applique. But you could trace this and if you're doing quilts or want to applique it onto like a shirt or whatever. Like how cute would that be to like, because this is what am I from, I grabbed from the swag bag or swag booth. Like how cute would it be to like applique like a ducky under this? Like that would be super cute. Actually that would be really cute. I might do that. Or maybe on the pants. Like how cute would that be like right on the bottom of the sweatpants? If you got the sweatpants. Of course they're, they're joggers and... Of course, me being six one, <laughs> they're never gonna, like they're not gonna be long enough. So like I need them to be like another like four inches longer, so they actually get down to my ankles. <laughs> so, but that's that's just me. <laughs> there was a flag pattern, flag banner, 
pattern trying to combine two words so this is perfect for like if you're celebrating for birthdays or celebrations of any kind graduations if you're sports fans you could do your sport team colors i know we just had the super bowl and then it's the stanley cup or if you're soccer or soccer slash football however you want to say it fans you could do your team yeah, yeah team sports colors even if it's not professional team but just like if you have kids and their sports teams and like anyway but just fun little flags just to decorate or even if you just want to have it for like if you're kids or whatever make little flag banners and they could decorate their rooms or whatever like that'd be cute or for holidays like like make little holiday ones and stuff like that and you can hang it up around like near your tree or if you have stairs like they can go down the stairs like or like around the banister for the stairs like I occasionally will do like little banners like maybe not flags but just like little banners and I'll hang them on the mantle but like between the mantle and the fireplace and I'll drape them there so I've done a few different banners holiday ones but like the flags would totally work and you can do holiday themed ones if you do like if you do the holidays or decorate for holidays I haven't in the last two years yeah, <laughs> I've been on, I've been lazy because I like to clean the house and I don't want to clean the house before I have to decorate and then I clean afterwards. That's bad. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so we got corner stitches. So their business card says they do custom cosplay, steampunk, modern fashions, including accessories and handbags. The historical fashions are their specialty. So I didn't see this. I didn't get to see this booth. But it's just cute. It has like a little clip-on bead and a little dolphin at the bottom. That's a little cute. You can add it to like a little keychain or a backpack or like make it as like this could be your like little zipper pull, especially like on the inside of the bag if you use like a number five or number three zipper or the pre-made zipper tapes. Like just clip it onto the end of that and you can have like a little extra hang-off thing. From Salty Sews, of awesome brush. So I took my machines in to get work done before... And they said, we will have it done. And then I called them on Monday. Oh, it's done. I just need to run a test. Okay, should be done today. Okay. Never got a phone call that day. And then I got sick. And then plus then we got like six inches of snow. So I wasn't wanting to drive anywhere. But they never called me. They never told me to come pick it up, that it was ready. And so I left and went to Sell Magical with no machines. Thankfully, I didn't need them to teach, but then when it came to my, I forgot all about my classes. And I was like, well, oh well. So I, so I have the kits at home, so I'll make, I'll make my stuff at home. But at least I got to, I went and learned and got some new tips and tricks and stuff like that to do stuff. So I have stuff that I will make at home. But my surgery I didn't take. And yeah, that's the one thing that didn't get service. So this will come in handy. Right now. Oh, sorry, my corgis. <laughs> They do that whole, like, I'm going to look at you, and then it's like, like a, but I stand up, stand up. And then, like, somebody flinches, and then it sends everybody into the bark, and then they bolt out the dog door and go out back. And then they proceed to bark at each other. But that's my children. Yay. Okay. Moving on. I think this is the last one. I don't know. I have everything sp sp spread out. So, Dream Big Creations. So, bloop. So this is Dream Big Creations. So again, if you did not read the little papers that came inside of your bags, this one says, thank you for supporting their small business. Save 15% off your next order using code blah, 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 blah. And it doesn't expire till the end of May. So if you didn't go and get anything from there while you, while you were, like if you're at the event and you didn't get to go stop by their booth, like the coupon code is good to the end of May, like which is awesome because you get people like me who don't read these because I'm not like I just didn't pay attention. Yeah, but I think I can I can save, which I should have saved. But I'm also on their strike team, so I have my my strike one. So when I went and restocked myself, so that way I didn't have to pay shipping. So I yeah I. I definitely stocked up when I hit their booth, but in there's a good amount of zipper tape, which is awesome. And I believe this is their villain tape. I like they have two black ones with the coils that change different colors. So I want to say this is their villain tape, but depending on how you look at the coils, it either comes off with like a green or it's like a dark 
blackish purple like it's very ear it's like an iridescent but it's not like super shiny and super colorful like it is it is colorful but it's like it just depends on how you look at it it will slightly change so it's kind of like a mood ring but mood zipper tape almost which is kind of cool but i like using it for, i've used it on multiple products but it's just like it's just a cool it has a cool look because it has like a sheen and it's like an iridescence to it but then it's also they have their dream big feather so the reason for the feather is they are native american and it was really cool instead of doing like bag bags they had bandanas which was really cool and so i i told like i know they told me the spiel of it is like to help cons to like break down like on waste because of all the bags you end up throwing the plastic away well it's a bandana you can use it for a multitude of different things so i just thought it was cool it's like a little bit different but so that's dream big and i I think that's everything from the swag bags yes I think so <laughs> okay so now to go on to what I bought for my haul preface this with if you're gonna go to Tennessee Florida have a budget in mind I kind of had a budget in mind and yeah that budget got blown but yeah <laughs> it's 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 hard because everything you see it, everything in, in front of you, you actually get to touch it. Where online, you don't get to touch it, you don't get to see it. Certain things don't photograph as well as in person. Colors don't show up just right. Like this in the video, when I'm looking at this on my video, it looks like a brighter pink. But it's not. It's not a brighter pink. So certain things just don't photograph well in color wise. But it's so nice when you're there. You see everything, you get to touch it, you get to feel it, and it's like, and so just keep a budget in mind for future. I'm going to start with New Moxie. I absolutely love Nicole and her family. I, like, I'm six one, so Nicole's six foot, so I was just like, oh my gosh, another tall person, and so I got really excited about that, so I was like, this is really cool, but just being able to like talk to her, like, like seeing, like, talking about her business, like, they're still such a baby and it's like looking at their booth and how beautiful and just the way that their booth is set up with the lights so you could really see everything and the way that the packaging is like they did their research before starting like they're only 18 months old and it's just like it just blew my mind it's just like no you have to be like multiple years old and have all this experience nope they just did their research and they they did it right their packaging is phenomenal phenomenal and their booth is just so pretty the way that it's set up it's just it just looks really nice and i told her that it's like how well how nice it looks and like when i go to comic con like i'm always like checking out like okay how do you set up yours what yours look like just like because there's always room to improve and from the very first time i did a show to now it looks totally different like and i'm still changing it and still setting it up differently and it's never going to be the exact same way for every show because booth sizes change locations change you just got to work with what you got but anyway awesome people i absolutely loved being able to talk with them and getting to know them more on like a on a personal level as well love their stuff so i will start with my baggie i opened so i got the pokemon ball tin and it came with like i believe 20 different pokemon poles a sticker and a pen and I opened it. I don't know how they get their stuff back into the or how they package these because, like, I swear they have to have like some sorcery or whatever. Because I cannot get this to go back on right to save my life when I took the pin out. So yeah, so it's it's packed full of different all sorts of like all different Pokemon poles. Like, like this thing is cool. And at the bottom, it's not actually attached, but I just don't want to take it out. So that was my sticker. So I'll just show some of the poles that are in here. So you got this cool dude. I think it's Gengar. I love this character. I'm horrible with knowing the names. My husband knows all their names. Like he was totally into Pokemon. I think this is Charmander. I think. Don't get mad at me if I got it wrong. <laughs> but I look at all these and I'm like, I need to make 
Pokemon applique. Like, I need to make applique. Like, that needs... It needs to happen. It's going to happen. I just... I need time. Time is important. But in... Let me grab my bag. So, my heartbreaker from K. Akrosa's. I made it into an e-bag. So, like, that's my stitch pin that I stole from my husband. I also stole this stitch pin from my husband just to be able to show off the e to bagness of it. But check out all the pins. So this is from, like I got that from Dream Big. But all of these pins I got from New Moxie. So this was a pin that came in my tin. Super cute. Super cute little dude. But it's like these are two, and this is a Harry Potter one. I so I, I solemnly swear a lot. Or yeah, I solemnly swear a lot. It's like I saw that one like I don't swear a lot, a lot, but I just thought it was so funny. It was like, ah, it's Harry Potter. And then the, I am smiling for Wednesday. Yeah, that's like, totally. But they only had a fraction of their pins there. Like, and then they also have, like, I love this one, like the sewist one, the bobbin with the says sewist on it. So I need, I definitely need to check out their website because I want to see... And then plus, look how cute is that dino? Like, they had a couple other ones, and I just, like, I had to be good. I didn't want to get too many dinos, but, like, yeah. I know they're going to Tennessee, and I'm very, I'm super excited to see them again in Tennessee. But it's, like, I, I, want, I need to get the rest of the dinos, because, like, they're so cute. But if, so, I am teaching in Tennessee. So, I am, maybe not this pattern itself, but I am, like, I'm, I need to talk with Kayla on it, just to make sure. But I want to make um, my one of my classes I want to have is that is an eat to bag. Like you will go and finish an eat to bag. It'll be one sided for the pins and stuff like that. We'll do a pin board. And so if you're going to go to Tennessee and you want to take that eat to bag class. Again, I have to verify with Kayla if that's if I if I'm OK to do that and everything. So that's still tentative. But that's my plan and my idea of what I want to do. Like. Go check out Nemoxie because it's like one cute little adorable fandom pins. But then they have sewing related pins, which is like you don't see a ton of sewing related pins out there in general. So like, yeah, I'm like super excited. So I will definitely be adding way more to my pin collection for my Eta bags. So I had to show off all those pins like, yeah. And Nicole said that they have like their website has way more pins. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Very dangerous for me. But I also grabbed so oh it's right here. Let me grab my bag real quick. So this is my bag and it's a light up bag. And so this lights up and then it lights up around the hands. And I do have my this design on my website. So if you got that design. These are like there's I grabbed some pulls from two different companies that would work fantastic to go with this bag or that that applique design. So this is one of them. Like they're kissing. How cute is that? I blame Shinova on this one because I'm in my jelly class. And she's like, you need to go to the new Moxie booth because they have kissing ones. So both the time but actually scratch that. Both the times that I've gotten pulls to go with that bag, it's Shinova's fault because she's the one that told me about them. Otherwise, I would have completely missed it and not known. So this is Shinova's fault. So thank you. <laughs> I ha I'm happy. I blame you. <laughs> so I got a couple of those ones. I got multiple Pokeball ones because I know I'm probably going to do some more Pokemon ones. And then I grabbed some cute little Snoopy ones. If Snoopy wants to show up. There we go. Super cute Snoopy. So that was that one. And then, well, that's not all of it. I grabbed. So this was round one of shopping at New Moxie. I went, I, I, I shopped a few times. It was very funny. Um, my webbing. So to go with the Poke po Pokemon Ball poles and all the character ones. It's not, I'm not going to pull it all the way out of the box. But that's webbing! Like, how cool is that? So this was a, this is a five-yard box. So I'm like, yeah. So these are going to be really cool for, like, backpack straps. But at, then, at another point, we were talking about I'm going to a Comic-Con next month. 
And I'm like, yeah, there's going to be some Star Trek characters. There's going to be uh, William Shatner, the original Captain Kirk from the original series. He's going to be there. Then I'm, uh, I'm horrible with remembering how to pronounce names. Jonathan Frakes? I think it's Frakes. Riker. So it's like number one from the next generation. So it's like, oh, he's going to be there. And then it's like, I think it's Brent Spiner. So Data. Like Data's gonna be there, so like I'm like super excited. Then she's a Star Trekky, or she's a Trekkie too. It is like we totally geeked out about Star Trek, and I already have a bunch of their Star Trek polls. Like that's how I found New Moxie. Somebody posted about the their Star Trek polls, and they said, "Oh, I got it from New Moxie." And so then it's like must have. And so yeah, I got a bunch of them. So definitely gonna be using those ones. But I didn't know they have freaking Star Trek webbing. Oh my gosh. My mind was blown. How freaking cool is that? And it's on both sides. Like, yes. And it's like a purpley bluish color. And then it says, and then on the Delta it says to boldly go. Like, how cool is this going to be for backpack straps or for crossbodies? Like, I am so freaking geeking out. And I was telling him, like, yeah, because those guys are there, I want to get their autographs on some of, like, either. Either, I'm not sure if I want to make a bag for each of them or just have one bag and have them all sign it. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to have some bags to sell. But I told them, like, I want to make a light up check bag. And I just, and we were just like both geeking out about it. And then, like, I already have a Delta. So, this, their, their logo. So, like, their communicator, that's a Delta. I learned that because I didn't know that that's what it was called. I'm a bad tricky, <laughs> but I already have the Delta Eta window. And so I was like, I'm going to do an Eats bag. I want to do a light up bag. I want to, of course, do some normal bags. And it's like, we were just like, she geeked out so hard over the light up bag. And I'm just like, it's going to happen. Totally using your webbing, totally using your zipper pulls. And she had fat quarter friggin' fabric. Like it's so hard to find. Trek fabric like I know Chic Geek does a lot of like Lindsay is another big Trekkie nerd and she's got some Trek fabric and then Nicole's got the New Moxie has the Trek some Trek fabric and the poles and the webbing so it's like at least now I have a couple resources for when I want to Trek out and get all nerdy <laughs> so I'm super excited about that so it's like yeah okay did I finish was that New Moxie Oh yeah, so yeah, and then all the all my my pins, which I will be that collection will be getting much larger, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> okay, and then so the other the heart my heart bag the other zipper pulls. Thank you, Shinova. <laughs> told me to go to Zarel. Like how perfect are these two? Like so you got the kissing ones, and then you actually have the hands one. And so thankfully I had my bag with me so I could, I actually got to show them. And so if you've gotten the embroidery design from me, like Zarell and Numoxie, like perfect zipper pulls for those bags. Perfect zipper pulls if you're looking for them. I also grabbed some Beetlejuice ones because I don't have any or I'm out, one of the two. And then I'm trying to branch out because I tend to do a lot of Harry Potter, Star Wars, Star Trek, Disney, of course, bags. Whoa or those themed ones, the mouse house ones. But I don't do a lot of horror, so I'm trying to branch out because of going to the Comic Cons, I'm trying to have more variety, so including the Doctor Who's, including all of that stuff. So I grabbed some knife zipper poles to do go with some horror fabric that I have. But thinking future tense of like, oh, what light up bags do I have in mind? What one designs am I working on? So this will kind of give it away a little bit, but I grabbed some Deadpool and Batman. <laughs> so those are future designs coming up that I'm going to eventually be working on. So design size kind of probably going to slow down just a little bit right now because I'm gearing up for the Comic-Con next month and then having this event. And then once I get through the Comic-Con, I don't have anything planned until Tennessee. So I will have lots of time to work on new designs, making more light up bags. But I do have for light up bags, I do have designs that I just need to 
test and run for Little Mermaid, um, Aladdin and Jasmine, Beauty and the Beast. Who else do I have over there? I'm sitting in the... I know there's another one. I have one or two other ones that are made that I just need to do. <laughs> so, but so speaking of jelly, <laughs> after my jelly class, <laughs> glitter bug pretty much ran out <laughs> of jelly, pretty much. And they had the sh they had sheets, so I think there was like twenty. There's twenty something colors in this sheet, and I didn't get the little sheet option, but that's perfect for doing doing the light effects because it's a good size because not all designs are super huge. Some of them are, but it would work for everything. If you did get the sheet, the black will not let the light through. Yeah, I had a design in mind and I was really happy about the design. And then I get the black jelly and nothing shows through. And it's like, no. So I'm working. But Left and Warp has something up their sleeve. Um, anyway, I need to, I'm going to, I'm going to pester Tammy. Be like, let me try this. I want to see. And if it works, I'm going to be super excited to have black actually work. But anyway. So I, pre -told, I told Glitterbug, he's like, yeah, I'm going to Tennessee and I'm teaching this class again. So just fair warning, bring lots of jelly because there's probably going to be more people that are going to want to try the jelly. But so these were the colors that I was able to get. They had some other really, really pretty colors that other people had gotten. And when I finally waddled over there, they were all gone. They were gone. So I was like... I will have to try it at Tennessee and make sure I get them like first thing because it's like I want to get the I want to get some other pretty colors. So I got a really a pretty blue, like a deep dark gold, a like pale yellow, and an orangey color. So I will play around. They'll get used. I'll use them for something. I'll figure I'll figure something out for that. And then from where are we going where are we going who do i have in front of me let's just go with the mormino booth so lauren's booth from mormino i grabbed what is it called brown ultra soft so it's got a little like pebble look to it and it is like when they say like ultra soft it is soft it is very nice like this is, is not marine vinyl. Marine vinyl, you can kind of get away with not having something on it and it's going to stand up on its own. This, I would definitely, I would, I'm going to be interfacing or putting something in it, but it is, it's a really pretty rich brown. This will go with a lot of different stuff. So I, I, I grabbed it because it's like, I knew it was going to go with a lot of, a lot of different stuff. And then I grabbed, oh, nope, wrong one. Here it is. I just thought this was a really pretty color, like it was like a seafoamy grayish color. It was just really pretty. And then I didn't get the clear one. So this is their, it's, an, it's the Rainbow Watercolor Roses Lux Vinyl Roll Midweight. If I can get it to tear, not, not the vinyl, the, the label. I'm trying to get the label. Okay, maybe it's not going to tear. Oh, come on, I, I want it to open so I can show you guys. Okay, apparently whatever sticky stuff is, like whatever, whatever their label is, it works. It holds. Is there something underneath of this? Oh, that's because there's a, another thing. <laughs> it's like double secured. Okay, anyway, well, that's not going to work, so I don't want to waste a lot of time. But look how pretty that is. And the zipper tape, because there is, like, that pink color, would match beautifully. And then there's also other colors, zipper tape colors, that would match this beautifully as well. <clears throat> and then this might actually match it. I wasn't even trying to go for that. Eh, kind of matches not quite it's not quite there it's not bluey enough but 
yeah, I wanted to try this out. I thought this was really pretty. They had, uh, there was this in the same rainbow in clear. I'm like, I haven't quite mastered clear vinyl yet. So I kind of stayed away from it. I'm like, oh, I'll get it eventually. <laughs> and then from So Girly Fun, grabbed a few different things. Oops, don't go through the handle. Oh, my sticker got bent. No. Susie from So Girly Fun, my sticker got bent, but it's okay, my own bad. But Susie, super nice, super sweet. And then Cherish, who was in my jelly class, she was there helping out Susie. She was local, which was really cool. Cherish, super awesome, very nice. Got some sit sprites in the webbing, got a few, got a couple rolls of those. Just got a cool ombre. ombre zipper tape there was some really pretty um like japanese like blossom or chinese flower blossom zipper tape and webbing <laughs> super pretty super pretty i just i knew this was already gonna be a lot i'm just like no and then a very like pastel ombre one super pretty and then because i already have some Totoro designs that I've already re released. I have some other ones coming that I just need to like run them and test them. But so this is a panel pack. So I've got this panel. I got that panel. And then let's see if I can open this correctly. Oh, here we go. And then them sleeping. It's so cute. So super cute. They had, there was, so there was the cotton woven. And then there was also cotton spandex options as well. So for the panels and also for the main print. So definitely need to make some Totoro bags. Maybe some, I don't want to give everything away. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to say it. But some Totoro silver zipper poles. And then I also got them in rainbow because this fabric is really cute. And then this is the main print that I grabbed. And then they also had one that was, Totoro was like pink. So super fun, super cute. Oops, I want to do that. There's that tag in there. Oh, and then the So Girly Fun pin with the crown on top. Let me see if I can open it. Yeah, there we go. Super cute. Oh, there's a little, like a little gem in the top. Okay, does it spin? Oh, we are great. It's a twist one. Sweet. Cute. I always like end up putting these next to my sewing machine. And I use them. I use them. So there was that one. <sighs> okay, we're getting, we're getting down to the end. I spent way too much money. I... Oh, something came off of me. So I went over to the My Vinyl Source. Super nice lady. What did she say? She knows like seven languages or something like that. Like it just blew my mind. I'm like, geez, that's a lot of languages. But this was such a pretty like, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with it yet. But I just love the colors and like kind of like geometric Enos. Oh, I wonder if this would actually match the... heck yes I love when things I don't even plan like that matches that looks good oh I wonder if the brown would look good too what's the brown like even the brown would work heck yes I love when things like not even planning and it totally works out yeah I just thought this was like a really cool like just pattern and look to it this was the one that caught my eye that was just like Oh my goodness, I love this one. I just, I'm not a really big red person, but I just loved this one. I just thought it was so pretty. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. No idea what I'm gonna do. But I just thought it was really pretty. I'll probably end up hoarding it for a while. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm a sucker for florals, but like it's gotta be pretty florals. Like I'm not just like an all florals kind of sucker, but 
Like this one's pretty, it's just like all the pinks. Like granted, purple's my favorite color, but my second favorite color is like tied with like a sea foamy green blue color. Like, or this like super, like they're, they're in here, like that light greeny blue color. And then like a blush pink, which is kind of in these flowers. I, I love the blush pink. So I got those. Oh yeah. <laughs> I went over and saw Sam, a.k.a. Bobbin Boy, a.k.a. Shorty. <laughs> He's 6'2". So this was this whole thing, like, this weekend. He ran, like he came up to me and he's just like, how tall are you? And I'm like, 6'1"? He was like, no, you have to be, like, 6'3", because he's 6'2", and I look a little tall, <laughs> taller than him, apparently. But I was wearing Crocs, and they kind of have a little lift. But so it was just like this whole thing of like height and it was just real it was just really funny. So every time we saw like we saw each other, it's like he would just say, Hey five eight, and I'd be like, Hey shorty, or something like that. So it was just really funny. And what cracked me up when when the whole thing was over, where there was a bunch of people like not a bunch, but there's people hanging out still, and we got to talk more. He's the short one of his friends, which is like, dude, I love your friend pool. Like, can I? And even his roommate is a girl, and she's 6'3", or 6'4", or something like that. I'm just like, dude, I love your friends. Like, can I can I come join your friend pool? Like, seriously, like, besides now Nicole from New Moxie, I don't really have a lot of six foot plus friends. Like, I I just don't know a lot. Like, my husband's 6'5", but it's like, and my dad's 6'4", but my mom's like 5, maybe 5'11", maybe 5'10", somewhere in there. And my sister's like 5'9". So we're like, we're tall, but we're not like crazy tall. And I'm not even like, I'm tall, but I'm not, I'm not crazy tall. Like watching college volleyball, it's like the norm is like six, three, six, four. And you get the occasional six, seven. It's just like, dude, I feel so short, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, so it was just like, it was just like a fun, just be able to goof off and joke around. So, but I needed to restock my thread. So of course black, I was, I'm on the low end of my black already. I got needed to get white, but I got pink. Like it's like it's like a paler pink. Like it looks super bright in this in the video, but it's like a kind of like a bubblegum pink. So I got some of that. I got some green. I got two colors of green because I got a lighter one and a darker one. I don't know how often I'm gonna use it, so I'll probably have these for like ever. I got a pretty yellow. I just because I don't have yellow, and then I grabbed a lighter gray I have a darker gray but I grabbed a lighter one and then like a like a tan like I have a brown and then so I wanted a tan so I I was trying to get colors that I knew like okay I could use this little more than just like once and once only and yes I could do like the contrasting threads but I don't trust my stitching enough to do contrasting. Like I get a little ner I get nervous doing the contrasting. Like I know I could do it. I just get nervous and it freaks me out. But and then they had these cute little like granted I don't have a Thor, but it's like a cute little notebook. I just like they had them, so mm -hmm. I can make them put my little ideas for light up bags in it. I usually put it in my phone because I, I I tend to lose those kind of things or put them somewhere and then forget where I put them. Cause I'm smart like that. Right. The last booth that I hit was Dream Big, and I went big because I rented. I was restocking my stuff, but they had this in pink. I've done. I've used their black before, and I've used. I have their orange. They also had red. Oh, this is gonna be perfect for. Um, Riker's bag if I for Star Trek. Yes. yes, 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 yes. And then I got it in white. Is it white see itself out? So that's what it looks. It's kind of like a so it's pattern. So it's not just like a solid thing. My boys, they're goobers. So going through the bags. Let's see. I definitely stocked up on the webbing. Oh, what is this? Oh, I'm afraid that I went somewhere else and 
got more. So they have so many colors. Yeah, I stocked up on colors. Like, yeah, I got two black because I use their black a lot. But just a huge, and this isn't even all their colors because I knew I had some at home already. But like, that's like, I'm covered. I got a good amount of colors on the webbing front and some that I hadn't even gotten yet. Oh gosh, no. And then I totally stocked up on zipper tape. Oh, so here, if you shopped with them there, this was their bandana. So very super cute. You could use it for a multitude of things. If you wanted to, you could cut it up and put it into a bag. You could turn this into like a little pouch if you wanted to. You could use it if you're like working outside. You could use it to like like do the whole bandana thing. Like or oh if you have dogs, you could make them little doggy bandanas. Like you there's like you have just a whole bunch of things you could repurpose this into. Or just use it to cover your machine to help keep the dust off. Like there's a variety of things you could do. Oh my gosh, my whole bottom is like <sighs> so I got some two inch hardware, one inch hardware, I got some circle, one inch circles, some rectangles. So just like basic hardware and stuff like that. I got multitude of colors. They have antique silver. Oh my gosh, like not everybody everywhere carries antique silver like hardware. They have antique silver. Because you have all the antique silver poles. But then you don't have the antique silver hardware, which kind of seems silly. But yeah, they have it. And so I'm like, I'm like, oh, I need that. So yeah, so I got some rainbow, matte rainbow, matte black, gunmetal, antique brass, antique silver, and then a few silvers. So I am stocked up. I need, I have a special bin for just their hardware so I don't mix it up with mine or from somewhere else's. But just because being on the being on their strike team, like I try to use use their stuff when I can. If I if yeah, but I was running low, so I needed to restock. So that's my restock. And then at the last Comic Con, I had my it was one of the bags that I did for strike for them. It was my zero bag, and it had their webbing in it. It had their these candy cane zipper poles on it. Yeah, that bag got stolen. So if you were on the sewing, or not sewing for profit, but like just selling panel, or you went and joined us for that pa that panel, I that was something that I mentioned because a lot of the, the people on the panel do the craft shows. I know Brittany from Imperium, she goes to occasional Comic Cons too, but a lot of the shows are craft shows. Well, I try to go, I go to the bigger ones and I, well, not really bigger com craft shows, but I go to the com comic cons because they're a little bit bigger and I do more fandom based stuff. So it just, it works for me and my stuff, but everybody's what they're thinking, what their stuff is. It's very different. Anyway, not to get onto that, but I was, one of the things that I explained in mine is after that happened, I moved all my backpacks to the front because I was in a 10 by 10, you could walk in and I moved all my purses to the back and I zip tied, I lengthened my backpack straps because I usually keep them up nice and tidy so they're not just loose. I lengthened one of them and zip tied onto the hardware to the, to the display. And it was a way to secure the bag. Like they could pull it down so far to like to look at it, but they couldn't like just up and walk away with it. So that was, yes, it sucked. It was sad. And other people got their booths. Stole, had stuff stolen from their boots. Gus! Gus! What are you doing? It's okay, buddy. It's okay. My kids like to bark. That's what corgis do. Corgis bark. They're my little alarm clocks and my. Well, something's here. Someone's here, but no, it's here. They're, they're the alarms. Anyway. 
So other people got stuff stolen. So I learned it as a, I, I'm taking it as a learning experience because it happens. People, it, I know there's other people that have had other stuff stolen and, but I changed my booth around just a little bit. So that way I could rearrange where I was sitting. So it, it, like it's a, it's a whole thing. And so eventually like I'll do a video on that one, explaining my experience with that one and going into more depth of how I did my booth, how I did my setup, like what it did, how I changed it. So that way for everybody else out there that does shows, they can learn from my experience because that's part of this is to share, to learn, to grow. And if I just sit here and just hold it to myself and it happens to somebody else, like that's, that's going to suck. So I'm hoping my experience can help somebody else and they don't have something stolen from that. But anyway, so not to get all sad on that one, but I needed more candy canes because I only got the amount of candy canes I needed to do that strike bag. So if I ever want to make it again, not exactly, maybe a different one, but with my, it was my embroidery design too, <laughs> but, and so now I have the zipper pulls for it and then donuts, like donut zipper pulls. So Brittany and Prairie Am with your donut kitty, if you didn't get your donut zipper pulls from Dream Big, um, you need to. <laughs> but so I restocked on some zipper tapes. So I'll set my colored co um, coils aside and just do. So they have solid tape and solid coils. So I got a variety. So now when I use these ones, it doesn't matter what color zipper pull I use. I can use any color with this, which is nice. And then it's just, it's all the one color. So, and then usually because like when you sew, most of the time you don't even see this, the zipper tape itself. You only see the coils. And so you lose that extra color. So with the colored coils, like you get, you still get to keep that, that pop of extra color from it. And then these were my colorful coils. So I had, I grabbed some silver, got some silver ones, I got some gunmetal ones. They had some other ones, but I didn't grab those, but I don't have these colors in gunmetal. So I'm like, hmm, oh, I should have gotten red. I don't know if they had the red ones. Yeah, red and black or gunmetal coils. I tend to use a lot of, and then these are the, oh yeah, now you can see them. So these are the different, these are the two villain tapes with the iridescence. Oh wow, yeah, you guys can really see them now. So this is like the villain rainbow one. So you can see, oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. Oh, that looks pretty. So villain rainbow. Oh, that's so cool. And then this was the one that came in the VIP bags. This is the, the original villain tape. So if you look at it one way, it like has like that purple, dark purpley, blackish color and then when you look at it another way it's like it's greenish color oh, I like I love the iridescence so they had this in where the the tape was white and it had the different the iridescence so they had a few different iridescence and I'm hoping in the future they do other colorful hint hint wink wink, wink nudge nudge Mindy and Taylor uh, maybe some colorful colored tape on the side with the iridescence like yeah maybe yeah wink wink <laughs> But, oh, so that's my haul. And then if you participated in the ornament exchange. So I brought a bag to do the bag exchange. Yep, totally forgot. Well, not really forgot. I was with Shinova doing, and we were talking about the jelly class and just doing a little interview. And so if you want to watch us being completely goofy and dorky and nerding out and Go watch that. That's on Shinova's channel. So that one was, that was fun. I, I had a lot of fun doing that with her. So, <laughs> so that was during that time. So I totally missed that one, but I didn't want to rush that or whatever. I wanted it to be genuine and have a good time. So I missed that one. I don't know where I was. I, I brought a boozy bag one for the boozy bag exchange. I don't know where I was <laughs> when that one was going on. It just like, oh yeah, I was supposed to do that. So I was like, there's so many, there's so many things that happen and it's like trying to figure out like, okay, when am I going to get food? Some classes, depending on when your classes are, they overlap. So it just, it's this whole thing. But so I missed out on those, which was a bummer, but I remember to go, I did go to the sticker swap. So I got to swap out some stickers and got some really cute ones. And then, 
Oh, and then, yeah, so then the sew down was at the same, about the same time. And it was, so I was, I was so, I was ready to pass out when I went to that one. I was like practically falling asleep sitting in there. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go. But I got to watch that. That was really fun watching every, like watching them do like the speed sewing. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> that is not me. I'm not, I'm not super speedy on that one. And then what else did they have? Um, oh my gosh, they had, I, th I know they had a few other things. Oh, the fashion show. I totally space cadetted on that one. Like I'm walking around in the vendor hall, like doing some shopping and it's just like, wow, where'd everybody go? It seems like there's like nobody in here. And it's like, oh wait, it's the fashion show. Yep. Yeah. If I would have finished my toothless light up bag, I was going to walk the do the fashion show and show off that bag, but I didn't get to finish it in time. Yay. Food poisoning. Anyway. So one of the things that you could drop off and I never made it to the, D stash bash. I never made it there. Yeah, I I don't even I don't even know where it was. But so these were my ornament exchanges. So for mine, what I did, my little ornaments. If you got one of mine, it was a ducky. It was an embroidered ducky, and it said SME Texas twenty three. So that those that, that was mine. If you got one of those. So this is, I don't know how the heck people do these, but they're so freaking cool. Like that is so neat. Like that's just really cool. That is seriously something cool. Very neat. That's really cool. And then oh, it's like a oh, cute. So it's a mini ears, but it's got the cowhide and the bow. So it's like Texas. I didn't even realize that. But it's that's cute. That would be perfect with I have a Disney I have enough Disney ornaments I can do I have a Disney treat so that would be perfect for that. How cute! I'm gonna have to have a sewing tree. I need to make myself some sewing ornaments and have a sewing tree. So it's a pin cushion. That's so cute. And then ha! I got another one. Yeah, I am definitely making a sewing Christmas tree, a little mini mini one. So it's a bobbin with a little heart. Like that's so cute. Yeah, definitely having a miniature sewing or Christmas tree in here. Ah. Oh, I think somebody was dropping these off when I was dropping mine off. Halloween themed. Bum bum blood splatter. Like that's cool. Very cute. Yeah, definitely gonna keep that in the the paper towel. I don't want it to get scratched. But so those are those are my ornaments. If you did the ornament exchange, and I just found another bag, so I'm a little scared of what's in it. Oh wait, I think I know what's in it. I think this is my small stuff from the. Yep, yep. It's my soft small stuff from the Mormino booth. So I just got, I joined in on the sewing blurbs. Oh, yep. I just saw this. And then this was also from Dream Big. It came with a stick. You get a sticker for Dream Big and it says Texas. So magical on it as well. But then it has the cowboy boot pull. So if you saw my bag, if you were there or I've shown it before and it's the guardian backpack. So it looks like, it looks like cowhide, but it's not real. It's fake. It's like pleather or whatever but it has these zipper pulls on it and they were super cute. They were like, it was like the perfect touch to go with that bag. Like I don't even know what other zipper pull I would have wanted to use, but those cowboy boot ones were perfect. Oh, you're doing toy story for Woody. Oh, so cute. Like that. Okay. <laughs> so I got one of these like little one inch rulers that is definitely sitting beside my sewing machine for like everything, little things. And I got, I was part of the join the sewing blur community. And I had a little thingy and I've never used these before. I never really thought about it, but it's like, these are actually kind of cute little, like, so they're like the little sew in tabs. They're super cute. They're like that extra little touch. You can put them. If you put a, um, a zipper overlay, I think that's what it's called. I always mess up that name or what they're called. But if you do that on the inside of the bag, you can put this on the overlay. You could sew it into the side of the seam. You could have it on the out. Like if you do little pouches, it could be on the outside of the pouch. Like you could put these in so many things. So I picked up one that says, you look really pretty today. I thought that was cute. And I got a, gr oh wait. So they were also giving out these ones. It says, sewing blurbs, SME 2023. 
Got a few, got a couple of those. And I have eight corgis and a big Queensland healer. So I have lots of dogs. And they're always with me and they're in my sewing room. And I try really hard to not have them, like, me touch them while I'm working on the bags if I can help it. Especially, like, be up in my lap and then they get on my chest and then my bags. But it happens. So I picked up a whole bunch of these ones. May contain dog hair. Yep. 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 That's... <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to put these into bags that I sell, but yeah, it's a funny little thing. Maybe I'll just put them in the bags that I keep, which I don't end up keeping a lot, but I just thought that was super cute and very fitting for me in my household. I just thought it was hilarious. And then I got some Marvel ones, Marvel in my creation, which is so, like perfect. And then because I'm going to the Comic-Con, I wanted to pick, like, so I picked those ones up and then I picked up Made in the Galaxy Far, Far Away. <laughs> it's like I thought that was perfect so yeah that's my haul it is covering my cutting table so I actually have to put stuff away now and organize Ugh. yeah where am I gonna put stuff that's the other thing I'm running out of room I have too much stuff <laughs> I just need to make stuff so I can make room for stuff but yep <laughs> sorry going off the um, but that was everything for what my haul the VIP bag the overall experience for so magical it was an awesome event I came I got to meet so many new people and people that I've been like like I drool over their bags I'm just like that bag is beautiful oh my gosh and I got to meet them in person so it was just like it was just really cool just to actually put a face to the bags. Because, <laughs> like, who looks at the names half the time? Like, we look at the bags. We see the bags. And it's like, and occasionally we might check the name. And then it's like, oh, my gosh, you make that bag? Ah, oh, okay. And so that part was kind of fun and really cool. So getting these friendships, these connections, and being able to carry that on. And it was just an overall really good experience. It was the very first one in Texas. So, Yes, of course. For the very first time doing anything, you're going to have the hiccups. You're going to have mistakes here and there. Things happen. But that's how we learn. Like, so if timing, things for the timing or reminders or whatever, it's a, it's all learning experience. And Kayla has an amazing team. Even all the volunteers, the people that were coming to the event that just volunteer that aren't actually physically on her team. They were all awesome. Like, it was an overall great experience. I didn't have any issues. It was it was awesome. And then, but it's like, it's all going to be a learning thing where things, like, getting things, where things could be set up to better situate so people could be more, so everything wasn't maybe so spread out. But when I, I'm hoping, I think they do a survey. I think they do a survey. And if you did go to the event, write your thoughts down. It's, a, it's an anonymous thing. Write your experience, share it. If you had something go wrong, let them know because if they don't know something's wrong, how can they fix it? But, and of course, like there is nice ways to say things and there's like mean ways to say things, but it takes a lot of work and it's hard and they put their heart and soul into this. And so when, if somebody were to give like a really nasty gram on it, like that, that hurts. Like that, that hurts. Like, but there's a polite, there's polite ways to say, Hey, I like this, but this could be better. Like there's nice things. And that same thing even goes for my class. And I hope there's surveys for my classes that I taught. I taught the jelly lights and how to put lights into bags and also the eat a window, which I'm hoping for when I go to Tennessee, I'll be doing the actual bag bags. But if there's surveys and you were in my class, please fill them out. Like, I want to know where I can improve as a teacher. Because if I, I might think the class went great, but if something, if I wasn't, if I didn't talk loud enough, if I didn't come around and talk to people or double check on them or explain myself or the process very well, that's on me. And the, because the whole point of taking a class is to learn and have a good experience. And if you're going to these classes and you're not, understanding what the teacher is explaining if you're not hearing them if you're not getting the help when you need it 
Like that's frustrating and that's hard. And I can understand people not wanting to come back to these or wanting to take those classes again. So I would love to have your feedback. I would love to know how I can improve, how I can make my classes better. Because that's the whole point is to share what I know with all of you. And you can have awesome, really cool bags and do all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So please share your opinions if there's for the surveys for the classes. I would I would love to know how I did and, and like what your experience was, good or bad. Like, just don't come at me with like a knife or something or like be super like mean about it. Like, I might be big and a goofball and dorky, but I do wear my heart on my sleeve and I do take and. I don't know. I'm a big softie, <laughs> but I, I do want to know good or bad or indifferent. It's all, it's all good. I just want to know what I can do better or I did do a good job. Sorry. Rambling. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't ramble too much in the classes or have too many squirrel moments. Like I tried not to squirrel on it <laughs> in the class and go down all these random rabbit hole conversations. Like I'm doing exactly right now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm, if you're going to Tennessee, I really, I hope that you can, you guys can see me. I hope I get to meet you guys. And I'm really looking forward to teaching again in Tennessee and having a whole nother experience. And for that class, I won't be doing the duckies. I'm going to try to do something different. So I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to try it out to make sure like it, it would be okay. Cause I don't want people to get frustrated with it if it's too hard. I'm looking forward to doing those and just seeing all the different vendors, meeting every, seeing everybody again that I met in Texas. So yeah, it's going to be an overall good experience and fingers crossed if I get accepted to teach in Florida and then, yeah, and then I can start planning and trying to save for that one. Cause I know I'm like, Oh, if I'm going to be in Florida, it's like, I gotta go to Disney and I gotta go to Harry Potter. Oh my gosh. I need to save so much money. Because that one's going to be, yeah, I know I'm going to probably drop some big money on that one because, well, you have some other, and then you have all, yeah, definitely going to be saving some money for that one if I get accepted. Well, so fingers crossed on that one, but thank you for joining my video. Sorry, it's probably a little long and I, <laughs> I'm the goofball. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that was my haul. That was my VIP bag. If you have any questions about my experience or wanted to ask more about like and just the, the setup or like anything if you wanted to ask any questions about overall because that was my first time going and as a first per, first ex time experience and having never gone to Florida so I don't I didn't have anything to compare it to so it was just that was it <laughs> so if you want to ask questions I'm more than happy to answer them or just in general share my experience but overall I thought it was a really cool event I thought it was fun I definitely look forward to the next ones and I'll, yeah, I'll be honest. I wasn't sure. I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to go. I'm so glad I went. I'm very glad I went and I, now I'm looking forward to Tennessee. So anyway, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching this and checking out what I got and all my randomness and, but <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Bye.